Hello everyone and welcome to episode 3 in the Saudi road trip series. Today we'll be traveling from Tabuk to Burbin Hermas which is around 70 kilometers and then from there to Hakel which is around 170 kilometers. So this is 5 o'clock in the morning and we are ready to leave Tabuk to go to Hakel. And on the way there is a place called Bir Ibn Hirmas which is a very beautiful we've heard. So we'll probably make a quick stop over there before proceeding to Hakel. So let's go, I think we are ready. This is Bir Bin Hermas. It was around 5 degrees Celsius when we went. We are on the way to Hakal from Bayrib Hirmas. So that was just a photo spot. We decided we will not wait until the sunrise because we don't want to waste our time here and probably we want to spend that uh, uh, extra time in Hakal. Is this be buying tea for us? Thank you. We have stopped at a gas station for some uh, tea and some croissants and the tea is really tasty. We very very tasty. We also had our breakfast with us and after breakfast uh, me and Deepi are having chips as a snack. Yeah, that's the all time favourite, chips. Mm Hakal Shipwreck Beach is one of Saudi Arabia's hidden gems. The beach is located in Saudi Tabuk province, about 55 kilometers south from Hakal Sea. Aside from this gorgeous looking beach, you'll find a half sunken ship right in front of you. The ship is a Greek vessel that apparently hit a reef and it sank about two decades ago. So we just reached Hakal Beach and it's absolutely Beautiful sea and it's amazing and there's nobody here. It's so secluded except for just about three or four families, right? And that's it. Okay. Now let's go, let's go and closer see to the ship the ship right now. It's called George's G, but it is also known among the locals as the Saudi Titanic or simply as Safinat Hakal, which stands for the boat of Hakal in Arabic. On the other side of the Gulf of Aqaba, you can see the mountains of Sinai in the distance. The place is still untouched, meaning there are no hotels, restaurants, or facilities nearby. It's truly a scene out of a movie. You'll have a scenic backdrop of mountains, crystal blue waters, and this mysterious sunken ship in the middle of it. Out of the world adventure! at an Egyptian restaurant and we sat in this Arabic style. For lunch, we're eating some Arabic bread, some eggplant curry, mixed salads, potatoes, spinach curry, and assorted rice. Here's white rice and Arabic rice. The 
The day's not over yet, but we will continue in the next episode. So until then, see you later. Bye bye.